So, listen, y'all can either listen to me or not listen to me. It's your choice. You know what I mean? But I keep showing you these videos to let you know, you know what I mean, that these drones, you're going to start seeing more and more and more. And what I'm afraid of is our privacy. Now, some people, their retort to that would be, well, we already ain't got much privacy. No way. True in a sense. You know what I mean? True in a sense, but, you know, you still can get inside your home a little bit and, certain, and, and have some sort, of, some sort of privacy, right? These drones are coming, bro. And you have to really, like, close your curtain, make sure they can't see inside your house. You already got to worry about when you step outside that they're disguising them to look like birds and different, you know what I mean? Different things. So you won't even know it sometimes that you're in the presence of a drone. So, but anyway, it's good and bad to the drone, I believe, in my opinion. But let's check this video. This drone accidentally made a chilling discovery after spotting this on the side of a riverbank. All right, so we're gonna check this video out. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join the fam. Let's check it out. Drones are getting more popular daily and drone users have drastically increased in the past few years. True. Some people buy drones as a hobby, but we now turn to drones as a solution for the majority of our needs. Search and rescue, surveillance, photography, agriculture, and more. This tiny but capable aircraft can reach remote areas without a pilot. The drone operator can stay anywhere, even in the comfort of their homes while sharing the same vision as the drone. While most and that's the scary part. See, this is like one of those commercials with like the medication where they give you all the good things that it provides throughout the, the commercial. And then at the end and the fine print and all that kind of stuff, they run down the bad stuff real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of good with drones, but that whole operating from home and can just pierce around and, and yeah that makes me nervous Stay anywhere even in the comfort of their homes while sharing the same vision as the drone while most drone footage is pretty cinematic a few clips out there show terrifying drone discoveries from the strange fly geyser to an angry roo here are the 15 scariest and most chilling things caught by drones number 15 fly geyser most of the time, we identify formations as either artificial or natural formations. But sometimes, natural phenomena coincide with human error and result in something spectacular. This alien-looking rock formation can be found off of State Route 34 Gerlach in Nevada, United States. The origin of this curious phenomena is quite strange. The first geyser found at the site was formed in 1916. A well was drilled in this location by people Whoa. seeking irrigation water. But instead of finding adequate water, they found geothermal water that's pretty much close to its boiling point. And so the well was abandoned and a 10 to 12 foot calcium carbonate cone formed in time. This was the formation of the first geyser. After a few decades, a geothermal energy company drilled a second well near the first geyser. However, it failed again because the water wasn't hot enough to use for energy purposes. Today, the fly geyser is a spooky, alien-like formation that sprays water that reaches up to a burning 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Unfortunately, if you're interested in visiting this formation, nope. Fly Ranch is located on private land and it's... Guess who's not interested? This guy. I know danger when I see it. I'm gonna stay away. <laughs> it's not currently open to the public. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Japanese Police Drone Drones are incredible, but not everyone is a huge fan of them. And just like other things in this world, they can be utilized for not-so-great deeds. But as they say, sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. What better method is there than to use a drone to stop another drone? In Japan, police deploy net-carrying drones to catch rogue ones. It looks pretty much like a scene out of an action movie. Whenever they see suspicious-looking drones, authorities would then use these police drones to stop them. Some countries have rules and laws regarding drones, but to this day, drones are still a gray area in many places. But in Japan... See, and that's what I gotta get up on. I don't even know if we have or what are our guidelines and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But think about that. Now you're gonna be seeing drones capture other drones like this world's getting crazy and they're pretty strict when it comes to drones flying into restricted airspace 
especially places near government buildings. Number 13. Haunted Tunnel This tunnel is located near Picton, a small historic town about 80 kilometers southwest of Sydney. This tunnel is about 180 meters long, connecting Picton Junction and Thirlmere. It first opened in February 1867, and ever since then, it's been known for its haunting past. During the Second World War, this tunnel was used as a storage for ammunition, tanks, mustard gas, and other lethal military supplies. Many people allegedly took their own lives in this very tunnel. But perhaps the most haunting story that locals share is the tale of a woman named Emily. She's known as the tunnel's ghost. According to local records, Emily Bollard was killed by a train in 1916, and ever since she died, her ghost stayed inside the tunnel and continues to appear to people as an apparition. The locals also reported sightings of strange white lights and shadowy figures appearing in the corner of their eyes. Ghostly children and other strange phenomena also purportedly appear in the tunnel. I guess it's only natural with the tunnel's dark history. Dark history or not, this tunnel gives me heebie-jeebies all the time. Uh, that makes two of us, bro. I get as farther away from that tunnel as I possibly can. Like, who wants to know in that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I leave it to the ghost hunters and all that type of stuff to go in there. I'll just watch from afar. Yeah. Number 12, Chernobyl Exclusion Chernobyl. Zone. After the nuclear disaster that occurred in 1986, the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone became one of the most radioactive places in the entire world. To this day, Chernobyl is still pretty radioactive, and people only go here to visit, but no one is allowed to stay. The iconic roller coaster is one of the most well-known landmarks in Chernobyl. This amusement park was supposed to open a few weeks after the explosion. However, its grand opening was halted by the meltdown of the nuclear plant. Only stalkers and people that are into dark tourism choose to visit this area. Stalkers are people that illegally trespass in Chernobyl to admire the place or to enjoy the solitude in the area. Meanwhile, dark tourism is a type of tourism where people visit places with a dark history. However, as years passed by, Chernobyl turned from being a no man's land to a habitat of different wildlife. Number 11, Black Eyed Girl on the Canuck Chase. <laughs> This drone footage was captured on... When are they gonna let this drone footage here die? Oh my gosh. Panic Chase, also known locally as The Chase. Located in Staffordshire, England, Canuck Chase is known for its popularity for mountain bike users as well as hikers. However, aside from bike enthusiasts, it's also well known for its sinister history and paranormal activities. The Chase has long been tied to paranormal and supernatural activities. Countless sightings of black dogs, werewolves, ghosts, Bigfoot, big monstrous cats, and even UFOs have been reported in this place. However, like most claims, they usually don't have any solid evidence to support them. The black-eyed children of the Canuck Chase are one of the alleged entities that haunt the area. In this footage, you can see one of them hidden behind the trees. The footage is kind of blurry, but if you look closely, you'll see that someone or something is hidden behind the trees wearing white clothes. This girl is allegedly one of the black-eyed children that haunt the Canuck Chase seeking justice. These children with hollow eyes were allegedly victims of the murders that happened in the late 1960s. There's no conclusive evidence that these children are indeed haunting the Canuck Chase, but a substantial number of locals and tourists claim that they do feel heebie-jeebies on the trail. Do you think this footage really captured a drone? Or could this be just a clip of a real girl playing amongst the trees? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Number 10, Eastern State Penitentiary. The Eastern State Penitentiary, also known as ESP, is a former American prison in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It served as a prison from 1829 until 1971, but unlike the prison that we see today, ESP is incredibly different. Notorious criminals like Al Capone and bank robber Willie Sutton were held inside the penitentiary. Unlike regular prisons where people are kept in jail together and monitored collectively, criminals in the Eastern State Penitentiary underwent an experimental method to reform criminals. Just as its name suggests, the penitentiary tried to change lawbreakers through strict isolation. ESP aimed to become a breakthrough program among other jail systems. Inmates here were usually escorted to their cells with a dark hood placed over their heads. This method ensures that the criminals wouldn't know the outline of the whole place. The only thing they would become familiar with were their jail cells. 
The inmates lived inside ESP in total isolation, with only a Bible as their sole possession. They were allowed to make shoes and weave in their free time, but aside from occasional visits from authorities, they were mostly left alone, in hopes that they would reflect on themselves and realize their wrongdoings. It only makes sense that isolation would lead to a change of heart. After all, solitude can be pretty powerful. However, when Charles Dickens visited the penitentiary in 1842, he claimed that he wasn't so convinced with the method. Dickens said, quote, I hold the slow and daily tampering with the mysteries of the brain to be immeasurably worse than any torture of the body. Sadly, the system that ESP followed soon proved to be unsustainable. The one-to-one -one ratio of cells to inmates became a problem. By the 1960s, the penitentiary started falling apart. It held 75,000 inmates throughout its operation. And today, only curious tourists and ghost hunters step foot on its premises. Seeing the decaying state of the place just makes it look haunted. But with the grim past of the penitentiary, it's only normal that people would associate it with ghosts and angry spirits. Number 9. China's Glass Bridges It seems that glass floored attractions have gained popularity. This is a no for me. Just, just, <laughs> just no. Just no way. No how. No thank you. Just no. Look at just look at this. Absolutely not. No. In recent years. However, glass bridges in particular have been more popular in China. In fact, there are about 2,300 glass bridges in China alone. Most of them can be found in the mountain ranges, and most of them offer a thrilling experience. But Yo, my palms is getting sweaty just watching this. No. Sometimes it's a little too thrilling. Walking on bridges suspended more than a thousand feet from the ground is already horrifying. But imagine walking on top of a glass bridge where you can see the ground below. Sounds like a fun way to get vertigo. What's more interesting about us humans is that even if we know we'll be scared of something, we still do it anyway. You can regularly see people visiting glass bridges even if they can't move an inch after reaching the middle of the transparent bridge. Unfortunately, there have been a few incidents related to glass bridges and a few of them were shut down due to the risks. So do you dare cross China's glass bridges? Or would you rather get the experience by spectating with a drone? Number 6. Sasquatch Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot, is a large, hairy humanoid creature that most people believe resides in the northwestern part of the United States and western Canada. Sasquatch is generally described as a primate-like creature that's about anywhere from 6 feet to a staggering 15 feet tall. It's often said to have an incredibly foul smell and a very high-pitched cry. Despite the stories about Sasquatch, there's still no conclusive evidence about the existence of this creature. Now take a look at this clip. This drone footage reportedly captured Bigfoot shaking several trees in the forest. Some netizens even claim that they could almost make- We've seen this clip a few times. I'm, th I'm convinced. I think that's one of those, like, whatever the machines that take down the trees and put them on the back of the trucks. I think it's one of them. Got a strange figure amongst the trees. What do you think? Did this drone really capture solid evidence that a gigantic humanoid creature like Bigfoot exists? Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Number 7. Devil's Bridge This is the Devil's Bridge in Ardino, Bulgaria. This magnificent bridge was constructed between 1515 and 1518 by a builder from the nearby village of Nedolino Diavolski. This arched bridge is one of the most magnificent in the area. But as much as people marvel about its architectural brilliance, it's also known for its grim lore. A famous story about the bridge is that the head builder's wife passed away during the construction of this bridge, and she still haunts the bridge to this day. This is why after dark, the locals are hesitant to cross the bridge. I was just about to say, looking at that bridge in the daytime, it don't look too intimidating. Just imagine what it looks like at dark, bro. <laughs> and pitch, what a new way. No, and, and the name to go along with it? No, thank you. Another tale associated with this bridge is that the devil's footprint can be found somewhere in the rocks used to make this bridge. The stories associated with the bridge might make it spooky, but aside from its terrifying story, it's still considered a cultural monument in 1984. Number 6. Muratalir Volcano Recently, tens of thousands of people hiked this steep, jagged trail just to get a glimpse of this active volcano on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula. It's located about 25 miles southwest of its capital, Reykjavik. Sounds pretty reckless, I know, 
But hey, you only live once. There's actually a way to see this active volcano without getting too close. You can just use a drone. According to tourism officials, almost 23,000 people made the difficult trek in the past few weeks. The view is really breathtaking, literally and figuratively as well. Aside from the tedious hike, there's also the risk of inhaling toxic Something so amazing could be so deadly. Just look at that. Gas and suffering from hypothermia because of the cold winds. According to the authorities, a small eruption poses little to no hazard, but they still advise the public to maintain a considerable distance from the volcano. After all, a massive explosion might result in molten lava being spewed out across startling distances. Drones are really amazing, and so is nature. This clip almost looks like it was captured from a volcanic alien planet. As mesmerizing as it looks, the molten lava is extremely dangerous. And there's also a huge chance that this natural attraction could lead to a catastrophic disaster. Number 5. Drone Surprise Just imagine that you're working peacefully at your desk. You're staring out the window and the weather is pretty nice. Then out of the blue, a drone smashes into your window, breaking... See, this is what I was talking about before the video started. This is the type of stuff that makes me nervous. ...the glass and almost hitting you right in the face. Suddenly, your peaceful afternoon is gone. This is exactly what happened to David Perel in 2016. All he knows is that he heard a loud whistle and a loud bang before he saw the broken glass window and felt pain on top of his head. At first, David claimed that he thought a bomb had exploded nearby, but he understood the situation as soon as he saw the white drone on top of his laptop. The identity of the drone operator was never revealed. And that's the scary part about it right there. You don't know who will wear it? Could have been somebody next door. Could have been somebody uh, miles away. You don't know. This goes to show that while drones are useful, drones can also cause accidents if they're not utilized properly. Luckily, David didn't suffer from any major injuries from the incident, but he claimed that it could have been worse. Even though drones are tiny, they can still do substantial damage to humans. And now it's time for today's topic. This drone accidentally made a chilling discovery after spotting this on the side of a riverbank. Without the drone's Is that a body? thermal imaging camera, capturing this photo wouldn't have been possible. This dramatic picture was taken by a search and rescue drone used by the Avon Fire and Rescue in 2021. The police received a call about a missing person and began their search with only the person's last known location as their lead. It was the dead of night, the fog decreased visibility, and the temperature was colder than usual. Time was of the essence. The rescue team tried to search for the missing person on foot, but their efforts were futile. Luckily, the team had a drone built with a thermal imaging feature, and they spotted a person curled up on the riverbank. The authorities immediately sprang into action and successfully rescued the missing person. This is just one of the many instances where a drone played a significant role in completing a search and rescue operation. Thermal imaging combined with an aerial view is advantageous. There's also the fact that, unlike helicopters, drones are relatively easier to control and operate. Do you think drones are the future? Or do you think their benefits also come with a price? As all Benefits come with a price, because that's, that's, that's a really good benefit of them right there. We need to highlight that. Always comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number four, drone finds missing woman. See? All right, since we've already talked about thermal imaging on drones, let me tell you about another case where a drone played an important role in finding a missing woman. In 2017, the Shelby County Sheriff's Department and the Bargersville Community Fire Department in Johnson County successfully managed to locate a woman thanks to the drone's thermal imaging. The authorities conducted the search and rescue operation during the early morning while it was still dark. The woman was said to have medical issues, and they needed to find her immediately. The woman was found one quarter mile away from her home, and she was safely transported to the hospital for the medical attention she needed. Number 3. Missing Dog Dogs are like our family, and all of us would be distraught if they ever got lost. In this video, thermal imaging was once again utilized to find a lost dog named Coco. The dog went missing around 5 p.m. and was found around 11 p.m. Looking at this clip is quite confusing, but you gotta admit that it's easier to locate living- Looking at this clip, it looks like the dog is running from- <laughs> 
<laughs> from him. Like, he, like he ain't trying to. He ain't looking for you. You might be looking for the dog, but he ain't looking for you. Things this. Yo, if this net. Oh my gosh, this net is is annoying me, bro. Oh my gosh, I gotta kill this net when this video is over. Way, I admit watching these people miss the dog repeatedly is a bit nerve wracking. At some point, you can see Coco just a few feet away from one of the search and rescue teams, only for them to miss each other. There were a couple of instances when Coco went under a roof where he was undetected. When Coco was finally found, you can see that her family was extremely delighted. And surely, Coco was delighted as well to find his way back home. Just from this clip, I think drones really are the future. Number 2. Lost, Lost Cat. Cat Before I show you the clip, let me tell you a few fun facts about our feline friends. Cats have been living alongside humans for thousands of years. Have you heard of the saying that we haven't fully domesticated cats yet? Well, that's not wholly accurate. But indeed, cats didn't undergo any significant changes while living alongside humans. Their form and behavior are still similar to their wild ancestors. There are two main theories about the domestication of our feline friends. Back then, humans saw their usefulness in catching rodents often on ships and farms. Cats were provided shelter and food, while humans had free and living pest control. The second theory is that perhaps humans just tolerated their presence, and soon enough our relationship with them strengthened. I mean, who could resist their cuteness anyway? Cats might be mostly portrayed as the bad guys, but in reality, they're social in nature, and they have a lot of love to share. Most of them might like their own space, but they try to express their love for their humans in their own little ways. Despite being domesticated, most cats are still perfectly capable of surviving in the wild, and some cats even remain feral. I say most cats because, let's face it, some of the cats out there lack the motivation to get up and hunt. It's 2022, and they know all too well that humans are weak from their charms, and their cuteness is enough to bag them some food. Anyway, in this video, it seems that a cat tried to be a little too adventurous, and ended up getting lost in the woods. At least, that's what his owner thought. Dogs are known for having an innate navigating ability that allows them to find their way back home. Cats also pretty much have the same thing. Science has proven that cats have homing powers, which means they can find their way home. As early as 1922, several experiments were conducted to check whether cats could get back to their own homes. And guess what? Results showed that the majority of them were capable of finding their way back home seven times from varied locations and distances. So I guess this gray fella, who was apparently named Tigger, was simply playing in the woods. You can even see his expertise in tree climbing. And certainly, that tree is much more exciting to climb than the cat post or cat tower he probably has at home. Well, just another missing animal case solved by a drone. So if they have this great ability to get back home, then were they ever missing? Just, just thought. Just one of those random thoughts. Number one, Angry Root. They're cute and they look cuddly, but they also Probably give a kangaroo. nasty kick. Kangaroos are amazing creatures found mainly in Australia. You might want to see one of them up close, but after seeing this footage, you might think twice. While kangaroos are usually gentle creatures, they won't hesitate to attack if they're provoked or feeling threatened. They're also- I mean, that goes for any animal. If it's not bothering you and you go up and start bothering it or annoying it, yeah, I would imagine. So on high alert when they're trying to protect their young. They're still wild animals after all, and they can be unpredictable. In this footage, you can see a few kangaroos. The drone operator chose to focus on these two, a young kangaroo and its protective mother. The rest of the group kept their distance from the drone, wary of the strange flying object. How and she knows you're there. She's already on you. However, the duo stopped in their tracks to observe the drone before hopping away once again. When the mama kangaroo noticed that the drone was still pursuing them, they again stopped in their tracks. Here's where it all went wrong. The drone tried to get closer. And of course, the agitated Roo lunged toward the drone and took it down in an instant. I guess in the end, the owner still managed to retrieve their drone. But I think they learned their lesson. Don't mess with the Roos. When did we start abbreviating kangaroo? Like, when did we start, like, shortening it, calling it, or giving it a nickname, Roo? I didn't know what it was talking about at first. And it was like kangaroo. I'm like, oh, just say kangaroo. You know what I mean? Just say that. But here you have it. You have the good, you have the bad that comes with drones. 
And I like the good that it does. The fact that it's able to locate people, me coming from a public safety background, like that's, like that's an added like bone, like man, you don't know how much help that gives police officers, firefighters, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially for search and rescue. <sighs> yeah, man. You want any type of help you can find. So when you can have stuff like that, yeah. I'm going to have to call the boys at the fire department and see if they're talking about back home at, at the fire department I worked at and see if they're talking about getting drones or do they already have them. You know what I mean? But like I said, you got the good, you got the bad. So y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about drones all right and uh stick around and stay tuned man leave a like share the video subscribe till next one i'm gone peace